Demon Mama, should I play the new Hogwarts or the new Zelda and why? New Zelda. Hogwarts fucking sucks. The new Zelda is god tier. I'm talking I haven't had this much raw fun with a game where it just sucks me in since uh since Elden Ring. Um uh the the new Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom is so fucking good. I cannot recommend it enough. The designs of the characters are banger. The environments are banger. It's better than Breath of the Wild. Uh, it has everything that Breath of the Wild has and more. The story is better than Breath of the Wild. The characters are really, really great. Uh, the music is awesome. Um, and it's horny as f Did I forget to mention that? That it is like the horniest game that has ever been made by Nintendo uh, since like Majora's Mask, which is probably the horniest game ever made and also the most depressing game ever made. Uh, it is amazing. Um, the Hogwarts blows. Guys, Harry Potter, boring as f that game, lazy fucking game design, lazy world design, boring tried out world, uh, Hogwarts whatever fucking game, everybody isn't playing it anymore. People will be playing and talking about Tears of the Kingdom for the next year. Uh, you're, if nothing else, even if you are just as in love with the Legend of Zelda universe as you are with Hogwarts, which okay, people can have their tastes. You are, you are making a better decision to play Tears of the Kingdom if only because you will be able to connect with way more people on it. Because let me tell you, a absolute fuckload of people are playing Tears of the Kingdom right now. Hornier than Bayonetta? Bayonetta is horny in a very narrow way, okay? Bayonetta has a ver has like like a handful of horniness, whereas Legend of Zelda is like, it's like full spectrum sunlight levels of horny. Every single uh, kink uh, that you can imagine is represented in Legend of Zelda to an unbelievable degree. They got furries, they got muscle girls, they got femboys, they got uh, a gays in denial, they've got cuckoldry, they got polyamory, they've got uh, every, like I could go on for fucking ever. You guys have no idea the amount of shit they got. Uh, Vor, transformation, they've got, uh, feet, they've got fucking, uh, 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 tongue shit, they got, oh my god, you can't even imagine, it's unbelievable. I, I don't think they have dick nipples, though. Horses, goats, pigs, monsters, M oh my god, milking, slime, they got wet and messy. Oh, uh, mummies, zombification, petrification, being frozen alive. Um, is there anything? Else? Oh, they got, they got bar like hyper bara muscles. They've got, uh, uh, they got, uh, mommy and daddy dynamics. They've got milfs. Monster fucking. Um, what else? I don't know if they got cake farts. I don't know if I don't know if they've got any squat cobbling. Why are so many kinks just different ways of dying? Life is just different ways of dying, okay? I'm serious. Think about it. True, they do have age progression and age regression. That's true, they do. It's got everything. I'm not kidding you. By the way, you guys think I'm joking. I'm not joking even a little bit. This game is so fucking horny, it's unbelievable. Pain can be pleasure, obviously. Are we talking hentai tags, not really kinks? No, 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 no. We're talking kinks and they also just happen to have overlap with hentai tags. It's ridiculous. Uh, maybe. I don't know if I'm gonna cover that this stream, but maybe. Lesbian Link in his single bed apartment with Zelda? Uh, Link is a gender-destroying entity. You need to understand that. Uh, I'm, I'm not kidding you. Um, like, 
there is last last in, during in Breath of the Wild, everyone it was very popular to draw Link either as a fe as specifically as a hyper fem femboy or as a trans woman with a dick. Okay, now it it is like almost uni universal that they depict uh, trans mask Link with top surgery scars. I can't even believe you. I, I, wait, I can't, I can't even, I can't even begin to tell you, wow, I merged two turns of phrase there, how unbelievably hard they're going in this way. It, it's, it's off the, off the rails, okay? Fucking gender destroying entity, and I love it. Link is a trans mask femboy. See, the defenders are coming out, the, the trans mask defender ones. Link has been purposely gender neutral since Ocarina of Time, the producer said. So yeah, obviously. The uh, uh, Arlo says, I'm with how the actual company views Link, that they're non-binary and have all and no gender. Yes, that's why I'm saying Link is an ender, is a gender destroying entity. Uh, everyone, it's like, a, like Link is like a Rorschach test where people look at Link and they see what their body, what their mind desires or projects some mixture therein and it's per and like he he's like perfect in that way i've always just thought link was a femboy <laughs> oh. yes lots of people thought link was a girl in the old nes games yes they've they've always ha link has always been uh there's there's been a few like very mask link designs um, but just keep in mind that Link has always, from the very beginning, been a fairy boy who runs around in a little tunic and white tights and cute little boots, okay? And so no matter what, no matter how far back you go, it is core to Link's design that he's just a little bit fruity, okay? Just a little bit fruity. Ocarina of Time Link, adult Link, is probably the like most mask Link. Maybe Twilight Princess, but there's a trade-off in Twilight Princess, which is that in Twilight Princess, he fucking turns into a wolf all the time. And that's like, not, it's not, it's not, you gotta be, you gotta be a little bit on the queer side to be able to cope with just turning back and forth from a wolf, you know? So, that's all I'm saying. Link in Smash Bros games, B Smash Bros games post brawl, he's very mask. But wait, but hold on a second, you can't say that because in all of the Smash Bros games, there's also been Toon Link, who is not super mask at all. Loblato says the producer claimed to make Link more masculine than before uh, before returning to form in Breath of the Wild. I can find the article, but for real, they said it. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Are Link and Zelda a couple? Um, Link and Zelda are like, they love each other, but they also have like an open relationship because like Link absolutely fucks Prince Sidon. Uh, Link absolutely is getting it on with a bunch of Gerudo. Link's probably getting it on with all kinds of fairy creatures and monsters. And I don't want to spoil anything. You know? I don't want to spoil anything. But, uh... Zelda's got some stuff going on too, okay? Zelda just... Look, I, I can't spoil anything because the game just came out, you know? It's a cuckold relationship with Ganondorf. Um, maybe a little bit. Yeah, I, I can see that too. There's definitely a cuckold interpretation. But see, the thing with Ganondorf is that unlike Princess Peach, um, Zelda doesn't have the same relationship with Ganondorf that um, that Bowser has with Peach. Like Peach clearly loves getting kidnapped by Bowser. She's constantly getting kidnapped by Bowser and then they just hang out together the entire game. Every single time that Zelda is kidnapped by Ganon, she like seals herself into a crystal, ice crystal, rather than getting like touched by him. 
So like there's no there's not the same there's not the same quite dynamic. You can read it that way. It, it, you can go that way, but it's not quite the same as like Princess Peach and Bowser, where the Bowser Mario Princess Peach thing absolutely is a cuckold thing. I was when I was referring to the cuckoldry in this game, I was actually referring to Prince Sidon, which again I don't want to jump into spoilers, but you'll understand when you play the game, okay? I think it's easier to interpret Ganondorf as kidnapping Zelda so that he can lure Link into getting fucked. I think that's more likely to be the case. Because I personally, when I see, especially, especially Tears of the Kingdom Ganondorf, Tears of the Kingdom Ganondorf absolutely wants to destroy that twink bussy. Like, no ifs, ands, or buts. It's like so clear, man. I don't know, I don't know how to, I don't know how to make it more clear. Here's the statement. Here we go, here's the statement right here. Back during the Ocarina of Time days, I wanted Link to be gender neutral. I wanted the player to think maybe Link is a boy or a girl. If you saw Link as a guy, he'd have more of a feminine touch or vice versa. If you related to Link as a girl, it was with more of a masculine aspect. I really wanted the designer to encompass more of a gender neutral figure. So I've always thought that either for, uh, for either female or male players, I wanted them to be able to relate to Link. During the development of Twilight Princess, I went a different route and created a, ver a version of Link that was more masculine. But after Twilight Princess, I went back to the drawing board and decided Link should be a more gender neutral character. Hence, I created the version of Link that you see in Breath of the Wild. As far as gender goes, Link is definitely a male, but I wanted to create a character where anybody would be able to relate to, th relate to the character. So that's why I think the rumor went around that Link could be a female, because maybe users were able to relate in that way. Yeah, well, there you have it. Yep, yep, yep. Ocarina Ganon was definitely a bottom, though. Yeah, he was a Ocarina Link was definitely like a power bottom. He was so he had such a he had such bratty energy. Um, Ocarina Ganondorf is such he's so bratty. I know I know that that sounds like funny, but if you actually look at the way that he's portrayed in the game, his he's so angsty. In the new one, he's not. In in Tears of the Kingdom, Ganon is just a fucking cold hard killer. Okay, that's all Ganondorf in in Tears of the Kingdom cold hard fucking killer. Oh, you need to play this game, Fish Sneeze. I'm not kidding you. It's so good. Wind Waker Ganondorf. Wind Waker Ganondorf doesn't have a character. You only see him for like five minutes. But you only see him for like five minutes, right? Am I wrong? Am I misremembering? It's been a million years since I played the game. I could I could be misremembering. I said Ganondorf is a cold hard killer. Wind Waker Ganondorf. Yeah, he was in very little. Isn't he like, isn't he have like one? Don't you see him for like five minutes at the end of the game? Everyone is horny for Ganondorf or Link or Midna, but I would sink simp for King Weirdo Zant. Everybody likes Zant. There's a ton of Zant fan art out there. It's just that they haven't done anything with Zant for a while. Midna is amazing. Like, I, I remember liking the ending of Wind Waker, but I just don't remember there being all that much Ganondorf in it. Ganondorf is hard? Yes, holy shit, can I show? Hold on, this is not even, this is not spoilers, hold on. Let me just, can we just take a look at this? Can we just be real for a second? With how fucking deranged the new Ganondorf is? How, I'm not kidding you, he has none of the like angsty energy of Ocarina of Time. He's just a murderer. This guy is, this guy is the hardest most like ethically questionable dominant figure you could possibly imagine. Like this is the guy who, this is the Hebristophile character. They're just appealing to the people who want to actually be murdered by somebody.
Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Are you fucking kidding me? He's built like a literal mountain. Sorry. Ellen says, I always thought that Ganondorf was explicitly a trans guy. Like there's only one male Gerudo born every hundred years. Yeah, yeah, of course. I, okay, guys, I can't believe that this is definitely going to have to become a, a segment now because I've been talking about it for so long. You guys don't understand. Legend of Zelda is like one of the horniest series that has ever existed. And if you, if you, if you don't believe me, just take it, take some time and go back through all of the old Legend of Zelda games, play them all, and keep your ears open for anything that you could interpret as horny. You will walk away with like three new kinks by accident. I'm not kidding you. They're so fucking horny. They've always been horny. Twin Rova. Oh my god, yeah, Twin Rova. The two old ladies who t you cast a magic spell and turn into identical twins, de-age themselves so that they have gigantic heaving breasts and then dance and shoot magic at you while going ah, all over the place. Are you guys kidding me? <laughs> oh my god. Chic? Yeah, everybody, like, guys, wh where where have you been? These games are giant gender fucks. They always have been. Gender fuckery is literally part of the spirit of Legend of Zelda. It is so core that if there is a Legend of Zelda that doesn't have uh, gender fuckery in it, it's, it's not a real game. It's just not a real Legend of Zelda game if there's no gender fuckery whatsoever. Wait, do you guys remember the Majora's Mask shop lady? What's her name? There's this lady who's, she like runs the game shop and she's literally like, she's like, oh my God, she's so fucking horny. It's insane. I'm trying to remember all of her dialogue. The innkeeper? No, she's not an innkeeper. You're thinking, yeah, you're, you're thinking of a different character. She's in the like, not, it's, I think it's called the game house or something. Yeah, she does like a sexy moan when you talk to her. She's like, ah. It's ridiculous. They literally voice acted the moaning. Yeah, I know they did. These games are ridiculous. But it's not, by the way, the other thing that's really cool. Um, uh, 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 the other really cool part about these games is that they're not just really horny. They're also really, really emotionally w written. Like they're written to hit you in the heart. So you get heart and you get hard at the same time. Isn't that incredible? Oh yeah, he does. That gear, yeah, the licking. There's the licking. Yeah, he fucking licks Link. Here it is. Wait, this is this is a different version of it. But yeah, he fucking tries to lick Link. Here's the one in HD here. No, 
guys, these games are totally straight. There's nothing gay going on here, okay? Nothing gay, nothing homosexual ev ever. Yeah, people are pointing out that this guy's entire character is that he just wants to go back to be with his master so he can be an object that's used by his master again. Nothing gay though, guys. Nothing gay. I gotta say, this character's design, I didn't get, I, this is, th I never actually got to play this game through because I didn't own the console this game was on. I don't think. I never got to complete this game, but I fucking love this character's design, by the way. Imagine if YouTube legend Peanut Butter Gamer turned into the stream and saw you talking about Zelda's queer coding, he'd soy out. Well, he should tune in. I talk about this stuff all the time. I did an entire video called a queer analysis of Metal Gear Solid and a queer, uh, a Metal Gear Solid 5 and a queer analysis of Breaking Bad. <laughs> They definitely made this Link more mask, but he still has eyeliner and DSLs. <laughs> yep. Yep, yep, yep. Ah, <sighs> anyway, ah. Uh... That was the longest, that was the longest answer that I've ever given to a question of whether I should play Hogwarts or Tears of the Kingdom. But I am, I stand by my answer. I completely stand by my answer. Oh yeah. Hold on, can I show you guys another character that they went fucking crazy on? Okay, this is a really funny one, okay? Here's the character from this is from the new tears of the kingdom okay this guy's furry bait as hell see him right here this isn't actually a very good screenshot because the coloring is weird but he's like a buff pelican uh a uh, a uh, bird bird fur and um it was really funny because um so uh when when doe saw this character doe was like this is what I imagine Conyer's dad looks like. If all of you know, those of you who know Conyer, and it made me fucking die. <laughs> if you guys know who Conyer is, some of you, most of you probably know who Conyer is. Conyer is another streamer that uh, I am friends with. But yeah, uh, people love this character, and also he's like a great character. Oh, this is a character in the Tingle side game? Oh yeah, of course. Let's not forget. <laughs> Let's not forget the horny elf. <laughs> uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They go pretty wild in these games. They go pretty fucking wild in these games. Anyway, that's why you should play. Uh, that's one of the many reasons you should play Legend of Zelda. Uh, Legend of Zelda games are very, very gay. They're very queer. 
Uh, there's like gender fuckery is like core to the soul of Legend of Zelda. And it's one of the reasons that I'm like a shameless Legend of Zelda fan. Uh, even though I uh, try not to be like, I try not to be too much of like a, like a, a an over, a, like a, what's the right word? I try not to be like a, a fangirl about stuff. I try not to, even though I like get really into stuff, uh, most stuff I don't go super hard on, but there's a handful that I will. One of those is anything that Kojima does. I am a Kojima fangirl. Uh, I am 100%. Uh, I, I am. I will stand by that one. And the other one is Legend of Zelda. That's the other one that I'll stand, ba stand by. Yeah. The Zora in uh, uh, Ocarina of Time. Oh, the Zora are awesome. The Zora in the new games are really cool too. Um, I also was a huge fan of the Zora to the point that like I played most of the game of Majora's Mask in Zora form just because I liked the Zora the Zora's designs so much because they were so cool and hot. The Gorons are basically ace and asexual. Yeah, but they're built like uh, that's true. That is true. The Gorons. Nope. I, I don't even I think they literally make a joke about like people not knowing how the Gorons reproduce. The adult Zora princess in o Ocarina of Time just has her boobies out. Yep. Yep. She's a fish, though. So fish don't have boobs. Those are just... That's just the shape of her body. Sorry. Yeah, fo foobies. <laughs> foobies. Yeah. <laughs> Link is chasing that fish -ussy, that fussy, fussy. I mean, wouldn't you though? Are you, are, are you, wait a minute. Are you people really trying to tell me that if a Zora baddie hit you up, you would not just be DTF like that? You are lying. You are fucking lying. You are lying. If a Zora came up and was like, did the little like you know the like way that every Zelda character basically goes like, wah, wah, wah. You know they kind of like make like one noise. They came up to you and they're like, wah. You'd be like, let's do it. Let's get the water bed at the Zora Inn. Let's do it. Let's bounce. Oh, okay, everybody, every I know everybody knows. Everybody knows that everyone loves the Gerudo. Everyone loves the Gerudo women. We know. We know. They are... The Gerudo women are hot as fuck. And they went even harder in Tears of the Kingdom. Everybody knows that. The, it's... The Zoras get an under... under they, they get less love than they deserve. Because people are fucking pretending. They're pretending that they wouldn't get down with the, with the, with the fish ladies. With the fish men and the fish ladies. And, and it's because they're ashamed. It's a shame thing. I know that the Zoras are, I, I know for a fact that Zoras are popular. I can tell how much people like them and I know you all are lying, but everybody goes with the Gerudo because they're basically, you know, they're humans. They're human people. They're not humans in the world because there are no humans in the world of, of uh, Legend of Zelda, but they're human people. They're the safe option. You know, you, nobody's gonna judge you if you're like, Oh my God, grind my face into the desert sand and strike me with lightning. Crush me with your abs, mommy. Nobody's gonna, nobody, everybody gets their 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 head crushed by Gerudo thighs and nobody bats an eye. But one person says, uh, the Zora Prince should kill me with his biceps and everybody loses their goddamn mind. Wrong, Striped Kidder. Uh, uh, striped, striped Kidder says the Gerudo are the only brown-skinned people in Zelda. That's actually not true. Um, there are actually, uh, dark-skinned, like, of various colors, Hillians, at least since, the, for the last few games. Um, like, the, the, like, Hillian people, the Hyrule, like, the people from, from the Hillian region. I don't, okay, this is a, this is a side, a side note. There is inconsistencies in use in the Zelda universe between the word Hylian and the word Hyrulean, but um, yeah, and also there's the Sheikah.
And that's been the case for a while. Even in older Zelda games, there are uh, there are people with darker skin who are who are Hillian. Sidon is literally the most attractive Breath of the Wild character. I will say, um, Hylian. I don't care. I I don't care. I think Hylian sounds cooler, and I bet that they would say it. I don't care that you care. People, more people are sleeping on the Gorons than the Zoras. Well, there is a lot of love for the Gorons. The Gorons are very niche though, because there's not a whole lot of variety in build among the Gorons. All of the Gorons are like, they have a like Bara, like a sumo wrestler type build. And that, and that's to, that, that makes them very popular in certain niches but they have limited appeal because like Zoras have like a bunch of different builds. Um, even even Gerudo have like quite a few different like body types that you encounter, but the Gorons have basically like one body type, which again, no hate to the Gorons and no hate to the Goron lovers. It just means they have niche appeal more so than the Zoras or, or the Gerudo. And even the Rito, uh, even the Rito have like, like multiple different body types that you encounter. What would you say is the most attractive common Zelda enemy? Ooh, the co common Zelda enemy. Hmm. People are saying, there's a lot of people saying Lizalfos. But honestly, hmm. Dark nut? No, the dark nuts don't count. Dark nuts don't count. They're made out of pure armor. Hmm. I think like a I think like an anthro arrowcuda would be like a super hot character design. Um, those are a new one in this game. Um, but if if we don't and but also if if we're talking no like further androgen or like or anthropomorphism um hmm maybe moblins lionel lionel are hot but they're not like my type okay like i'm not into the type of thing but i do find like moblins have like a they're like they're like kind of tall and lanky and strong, but not like overly buff. They're they're kind of like dopey, but in like a lovable way. A lot of Lizalfos lover lovers. Lizalfos is a good Lizalfos is a good call. Oh, I know what the Moblins look like in other games. In other games, they look like weird bulldogs. Um, if you guys look at the classic Moblins, they literally are like bulldog people. They change them a lot for Breath of the Wild. Um, yeah, look, this is what the, this is like what the original art from like the old school, this is from like old school, like Ocarina of Time. This is what a Moblin looked like versus what they look like now, which is like really, they're like really cute, honestly. Like, look at the Moblins now. Look at that. He's cute. He's cute. So like they went from like this to this. Oh, and in Wind Waker they looked really goofy. This is what they look like in this is what they look like in Wind Waker. <laughs> oh god, my god. This is what they look like in Wind Waker. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. Are we gonna do a Zelda Smasher Pass? We we definitely should do a fuckability tier list for Zelda. Oh, I love these. These things from Twilight, okay, guys. I had a lot of problems with Twilight Princess like on a game design level. There was a lot of stuff I didn't like about Twilight Princess, but one thing that you cannot argue with is that Twilight Princess has some of the most insane designs that's ever been in the series. 
Like, these were just in the world. These fucking weird, batidied, big-brained chicken people. They were wild. What a cool design. Also, look at this. Like, hold on. Midna has two forms, both of which are sick as hell. Look at these designs. They went, oh, why, why is it? Oh, God damn it. Why did they give me a small version of this? Can I see the full art version? Oh, God damn it. Why do you gotta make it so difficult? It's always so hard to pull up the images that you want. Here we go. That's a full ver version of it. Look at these, look at the design. This is the same character. This is her when she's a Twilight imp, and this is her when she's the queen of Twilight. Both absolutely insane designs. For the Goblin fans, for the strong Dark Mommy fans. So wild. There's so many good designs in uh, in in uh, Twilight Princess. Also, Twilight Princess, one last thing, okay? And then we gotta do the actual content of the day. By the way, if you're here, we have a lot of new viewers in here. Uh, smack that like button. We have like a hundred more viewers than we had before, so please, bam, smack that like button because we got a ton of good stuff to talk about. Oh, everybody loves Beetle. Beetle is such a good boy. Beetle has a line in the new game. Um, in Tears of the Kingdom, one of Beetle's lines is like, uh, people are scared of insects. Can you believe it? And he's like, I understand. People can be afraid of the unknown. But the way I live my life is that I never uh, judge something. I never judge anyone without giving them a chance to speak for themselves. That's just the Beetle way. Beetle is like the goodest boy. He's like the sweetest soul and he must be protected. Snack Freak says, with the gifted five tier one subs, put this towards the Zelda fuckability tier list. Love you very much, Demon Mama. You got it. I, I will do it, I promise. Maybe not, I don't think I have the time to put all the images together this stream, but I should do a tier list and I should do a custom tier list so I can make sure that I have all of the images that I want in advance. Um, hmm, how am I gonna do that? I definitely will do it. I haven't caught a Demon Mama stream in a minute. Other streams just aren't gay enough. True! True! You can't pet the dog in Tears of the Kingdom, which makes it mid. You can't pet the dog, but you can feed the dog, and you can hang out with the dog, and the dog will roll over and do tricks for you. So they don't have a pet button, which is a little bit weird, but still. They still let you interact with it, and you can feed it, which is great. <laughs> oh my god, I scrolled, I scrolled literally once on the page searching for Midna 2 forms, and immediately started getting to the hentai. Literally, holy shit! <laughs> Incredible. It's so powerful. These games are so powerful. What the hell? Someone's selling a Twilight bodysuit? Wait, that's awesome. It's a Midna, it's a Midna bodysuit. That's so cool. Unbelievable power. Unbelievable power. Peak design from Twilight Princess. Scary Baby! Listen, scary babies are as old as time, okay? Scary babies are all over the place. They also they had a scary baby in uh in Majora's Mask as well. Incredible.
Little capitalist baby. The Wind Waker Booger Kid. <laughs> oh my god. This has been so good. What a great idea to talk about Legend of Zelda. Everybody's so into it right now. Makes me happy. You see, everybody, the world is a better place when there's a new Zelda game. I swear to God, for like the following weeks after a new Zelda game launches, the world just becomes a slightly more gay place. And it's great. It's just excellent. Everybody's fucking chilling out because they're all having fun with The Legend of Zelda. Everybody can talk about it. Everybody's feeling a little fruity. It's wonderful. It's beautiful. It's a wonderful and beautiful thing. Okay, I also have to do one more thing. And then we'll move on to the actual content, okay? Like I said, I'm over here looking at buying a Switch. Okay, I'm not gonna say you should buy a Switch, but uh, even if the only game that you play is Tears of the Kingdom, it's probably worth it. Because Tears of the Kingdom is so fucking good, and you will get so much- you will spend so much time. You will get so much time in that. Hold on. Uh, Twilight. Okay, this is another thing that I really, I really love about, um, about Twilight Princess, which is that it has an absolutely legendary rendition of the Song of Healing. Take a listen to this. <laughs> Here we go. harmony at the end god that is such a flex what a flex to put a howl harmony on the song of healing oh god when i played that moment in i like i remember the moment that i was playing that and i encountered that portion and it, gave, it still gives me goosebumps to this day because i was not expecting them to have a a wolf howl rendition of the song of healing that went that hard so good. So good. God, it's incredible. Do you think it's a good sign that this newest game is so bi-coded? Yes, I do. Um, that's actually something I was going to talk about uh, with regard to the whole target thing. But I'm gonna hold that until after because we got a lot of stuff to talk about. Um, anyway, uh, this was an impromptu Legend of Zelda horniness uh, uh, and queerness discussion. Uh, press subscribe if you want more content like this because I do this all the time. <laughs> this channel is all about that type of stuff. So smack that subscribe button, smack the like button and tell me your favorite characters uh, and your horniest characters from Legend of Zelda in the comments below because I'd love to hear it and I'll probably add it to the inevitable horniness tier list that we're going to do later, okay? Thank you all for being here.